But let's get to the games happening this weekend, and we'll start with Jacksonville and, and Kansas City. So, Brady, you've kind of changed your mind, according to Pete, in your pick here. Kansas City's laying a pretty big number. What are you expecting in this one? It's a big number, and that was probably part of the frustration for me, I think, for a lot of people out there who are trying to pick this game, if you're into the gaming part of this, is, you know, it's a lot of points for a game in the divisional round, and you're looking at the Jacksonville Jaguars based on what they did last week. Look, give them all the credit in the world. Trevor Lawrence for being able to throw four interceptions – and have the perseverance to be able to come through that in the second half. But we also can chalk it up to the Chargers charging, which maybe is what that led to. Now Joe Lombardi, is, they're moving on from Shane Day, the quarterback coach, and obviously Lombardi, their OC, they're moving on from in Los Angeles. So as good of a win as it was for the Jaguars, they now have to go on the road to Kansas City in a place that it's tough to win a ball game, and it's obviously tough taking on Andy Reid and the Chiefs when he's got additional time. So again, it's a big number. I'm willing, I've settled on laying the eight and a half points here and the Chiefs taking care of business versus the Jaguars. Final final decision? Final decision. There you go. Okay. I'm on the other side. I'm taking Jacksonville. And the reason I'm taking Jacksonville is you're the mayor of Jacksonville. It's too many points. Yeah. It's way too many points. And and I went back and watched the last meeting between the two on tape. And it was it was a blowout early in that game, but Jacksonville had a touchdown called back for an illegal man downfield. There were opportunities for them to score more points. And I think what happened last week in the beginning of that game was a young team that got ambushed and didn't have any idea what they were doing in the first ambushed. playoff Ambushed, that's how you describe it? They looked terrible. Okay. They were awful. Okay. And then they regrouped. Yeah. And then they came out and they started playing yeah. their kind of football. And I think they're going to score points on Kansas City. I think they're not going to stop the Chiefs, by the way. No. Chiefs are winning the game. But it's going to be closer than the number. I think it's going to be high scoring. I think both offenses will score points. I'll take Trevor Lawrence plus the points in this game. You know what time it is, Pete? It's time to take a look at Pete Prisco betting on the Jacksonville Jaguars. I was right last week. Well, you were right last week, but overall, 6-12, and 12, folks. If you are taking Pete's advice here, just know you're going to be on the wrong side of but this. But I'm getting hot like, at the right time. You know, like a team getting hot at the right time. It's postseason. I'm getting hot at the right time. It was, and it was the wild card round. It's one round. Oh, well, now we're on to you round were two. You're awful in week 18. Uh, I'm on the round two. <laughs> By the way, Pete, so you're, you're favoring the Jags to cover the number. From what I'm hearing from you, do you think they do the backdoor cover where they're going to be down? No, they're going to be in the game. So they're going to be in the game from the game. They're going to score yeah. points. The, the Chiefs' defense has a. Uh, has Questions it, it, it's in the secondary. What, it's better than what it was in the past, though. It's been improved this season going yeah, into the playoffs. But down the stretch, they weren't great. The Texans moved the ball on them when they played. The Broncos moved the ball on them when they played them. Uh, and those aren't exactly great offenses. So I think they're going to be able to move the football on them. Well, you better hope Trevor Lawrence doesn't throw four interceptions again. Well, two of them were his fault. Let's That's be real. Fine. Let's be real. It still goes on the stat, stat sheet. Trust me. Trust me. I guarantee you, if they sat here right now and said you threw four touchdown passes, in the, uh, th four interceptions in the first half, but four touchdown passes and you win the game in the second half, That's they take it right about. now, right? Yeah, of course you would. Any advancement in the playoffs. Yeah. I also think you have to look at the fact Doug Peterson's done a heck of a job with the Jaguars. There's going to be that familiarity between the coaching staffs. Doug Peterson knows exactly what Andy Reid likes, doesn't like, vice versa. I think for that reason, it's a lower scoring game uh, because of the familiarity between We're the staffs. We're going to see a lot of creativity in this game. They're going to try and outdo each other. And by the way, the fourth down call, great call. But he gets a pass for the third down call, which was a terrible call. So they even out. And talking about Doug Peterson. Yes, last week. All right, it's going to be a high total, but Brady thinks the under will be one of the plays as well, in addition to his Kansas City 8.5. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.